The Insurgency series of games holds a very sweet spot in my heart. One of the oldest videos on this channel is a clip of me launching myself on the original game with an RPG. Obviously, being a fan of the first, I practically leapt out of my seat to get a hold of Sandstorm when it came out five years ago. Although the game is just as meme-filled as its predecessor, there still lies a very serious and gritty military game beyond said memes. What's going on guys, it's Poet, and today we're going to cover a game series that I probably should have covered a long time ago, Insurgency Sandstorm. Insurgency Sandstorm is like a Middle Eastern version of Rising Storm 2. You got your class set up, the basic game modes for most FPS games, along with a variety of weapons and a ton of attachments for all of those weapons. This game is unique, however, in the sense that the classes you pick all start with a specific amount of points. Rationing these points, you can equip your operator with the tools you deem fit for battle. Maybe you want to be a juggernaut, so you only dump points into heavy armor and a light machine gun with a few attachments. Maybe you want to be a scout, so your armor's a bit lighter, but your gun's a little bit more personalized to meet your needs. Maybe you just like blowing shit up. More power to you. The system is unique because it encourages player diversity and makes the player think about what they rationally need in the fight ahead. It also means you can't completely juice out a specific gun and then mow down everybody in your sight. The other semi-unique thing about this game is its gore. Very few modern shooters have accurate gore. And don't get me wrong, I'm not a freak. I don't like, you know, torturing small animals or ripping people in half with a shotgun in games, but I feel like there are very few games that give me the same feeling as Call of Duty World at War did when I first played it, probably close to a decade ago now. This game brings back that sort of intensity that Warfare games had back in the day. And sure, maybe I'm looking at it through my rose tinted glasses but i think that's kind of what made games back then so memorable if someone gets blown up their body is going to be pretty messed up when the dust settles if you get hit by a 50 cal bullet you basically get pinned to the wall that you're standing in front of or worse yet you just get completely eviscerated to say the very least the screams and wails let out by those dying around you also adds to an accurate depiction of how awful real war can be it's messed up, but that's just the reality of war. I think this game captures that essence really well and doesn't try to over or undersell it. Beyond the mechanics and details of the game, it's just stupid fun. Much like I said in the Rising Storm 2 video, it's a nice game to just hop on and have some mindless shooter game experiences. A lot of the community, although it's just as small as Rising Storm 2, will vouch for this game and honestly, the community adds to the game. There's a good mix of PvE and PvP in the game, so you can get you know, either of the game modes that you're in the mood for at any time. and the devs still put out average amounts of content as well as like little events that they run every once in a while. It's it's nice that you know they're still dedicated to what they made. On top of all this, the game goes on sale pretty commonly and honestly it's worth snagging for that discounted price. I think usually it's like 30 USD um, just base price and then when it's on sale it usually goes down to like 15 or maybe like 18, somewhere in that range, depending on the sale. I encourage you give it a shot if you haven't tried it already, and if you do already own the game and you haven't played it in a while, maybe pick it back up. It's, I mean, it's just a stupid fun game to go around on. I know sometimes I just get on here um, and just kind of screw around and do whatever I feel like doing, just turn on music and, it, I don't know, it, it gives me the same, it gives me the same kind of satisfaction that like Call of Duty and Rising Storm gives me, where I can just kind of hop on and mindlessly shoot things that's all i've got for this one though guys a little life update for me if you haven't been paying much attention is that i've moved and i've also started graduate school i've been a really busy guy um it's been a really big adjustment 
for me, but I promise I will keep trying to find time to push out content. I've had a blast making the last couple videos, especially my last one, which people really enjoyed, much to my um, relief and surprise. And it's got me feeling like, like I'm on top of the world. And I know it's thanks to you guys. So again, thank you for everything. I'm very blessed that you guys watch my stuff and enjoy it. More is coming soon, I promise. If you have any thoughts on the game or just about things in general, let me know in the comments. I try to make it a point to respond to everybody and I really enjoy talking with you guys. Subscribe if you want to support the channel. My name is Poet and I'll see you all soon.